Are you Mark? Get set. Go. You got a deal today? Deal. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. this is deal? crazy. Yo, what's up guys? How are you doing? So today I'm going to meet a special guest. So I had this guy who just text me on Instagram. He's been my fan. He's a YouTuber, a great YouTuber. And he's like, hey man, uh, I'm in Bangkok. Let's make something. Let's meet up and then we can make something. So he said he's going to pull up to my house with his girlfriend and uh, we're going to have some fun today. So this is the content for today, guys. Hey guys, so look that. You have my guy coming. Hey man, like I was, I, I actually came downstairs. I was, where are you? <laughs> no man, I actually came here, man. How is it? How are you, man? Oh man, I'm doing good. Oh man, oh, it's crazy seeing you in person. Yeah, man. Like that's it. That's the yeah, internet. Wait, which always one are you at? That means I. This, this one? one? Yeah. This one. Hi, how is it? Manita. Manita, Manita. how are you doing? This is telling you about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to. Trying to, trying to. I was wondering like how you pronounce it as well. Uh, trying to, yeah, it's a little bit high. Okay. So some people just call me Marty. Martin. That is more. Let's go. Let's, Let's go, go with that. Right, welcome. All right, all right. You guys are welcome. So how is how is the, no, I shouldn't be asking how is Tyler. You should be asking me how is Tyler. I was telling like it seems like you've been having a crazy experience from your videos. Bro. Like uh, I've been really to some different places and uh, it's still confusing. But uh -huh. the good part is now I know how to use the I know how to use the subway, the, the MRT, in the the MRT okay. yes, it was really bad at the beginning because I couldn't like uh, use it. So every time when I'm going out, I, I have to pay a lot of money for taxis and uh -huh. stuff. That was really so boring. Did you, did you download like Grab and stuff? Yeah, now I got Grab, so it's really good. Can, can get wow. it. Can <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, like. Hey, who you got sleeping in this bed, bro? Oh, man. Who you got in this bed, bro? That's a lady boy. <laughs> <laughs> I seen that video that you did, bro. Yeah. Did you bring the lady boy here? No, no, no. Like, oh, no, man. This is nobody. Just, there's a. That, that what made feeling. you do that, bro? Like, yeah? what made you do that? <laughs> Like, what's the thought process? Let me put like two pillows. Yeah, I'm just like, when I came, it was like this. Uh -huh. So there is a time when I was making a video, I was like, Oh, this looks like a person. People are gonna ask me who is that. Uh -huh. So that's where I got the idea of like, a lady boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, mean? first of all, I gotta give honor and respect to like this man. He's not no regular oh, guy. This is Tranos, man. He's a big time <laughs> travel content creator. Bro, I, I, I saw his content. He's really doing it. He's I'm, killing hey, it. Hey, I'm on no level like this guy right here. Look at the, I mean, let the plaque speak for itself. <laughs> let, the, let the plaque speak for itself. 100K <laughs> subscribers, guys. <laughs> This yeah, man. So 100K. No, 100K. This is what I'm trying to get at, bro. Guys, this. Can you walk in that gym for a second, guys? Yeah, you can take everything. It's fine. It's really cool. So, so that was the idea. You know, I love to feel like I'm not traveling. I hate feeling like I'm traveling. Uh -huh. I wonder feeling that I'm, I'm just home and going out for videos. I don't want to be more like a travel vlogger. I want to be a nomad. You want to be a nomad? Yes. I like that. Okay, so let's go. Da, da, da. Let's yeah, get it. Man. You got to take a bug, day, man. It's so good. Wow. You're going to love it, man. So you, let's, let's interview the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. beautiful. How are you doing? Wow. Yeah? Watch your manita. <laughs> That's good. That, you got me there. You got me. Like, I, I just don't know what to say after that. <laughs> really? You can, you can speak Chinese? No. Have you ever like landed before, like in any? Have you tried to land Chinese? Yes, yes, yes. Really? My middle school. Oh, so you can. E R San Si Wu Liu Chi Ba. And that's it for me. Yeah. What else do you know about Chinese? Xie <laughs> Xie. Just that Xie <laughs> Xie. Oh, nice. Okay, teach me a very good picking line in Thai that I can use on girls. Picking line in Thai. Kun <laughs> Sui Ma. What does that mean? Yes, the beautiful. Kun Sui Ma. Kun Sui Ma. Sui Ma Kloon. Oh. Or you could say Sao Sui. Sao Sui. Sao Sui. What does that mean? Bro, you gotta be a very beautiful girl. Oh, because I don't trust you. You gotta teach me some things. That would call beautiful. When you say Sao Sui, they're gonna be like, oh. Sao Sui. That's what get them to do that, bro. That's that's what you need. Sao Sui. Sao Sui. Okay. They're used to hearing Sui Ma. Sui Ma. Oh, Sui Ma. Sui means beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I was reading about it. 
Yeah, bro. So you're... tell me, where can I get the Thai Thai Thai, thai girls? Mm -hmm. Thai girls. I'm looking for Thai, thai, thai girlfriend. Where can I get one? Where can I get one? Where? Yeah. Where do you girls spend your time? In? Tomorrow, okay. I can see him, you know. But I have is a lot it, of people. Like, is it is it normal in Thailand for somebody to just come to you and then say hi? Can I have your number? Is it normal? Yeah. In China, you need to know a girl, be a friend for six months, then six pro months? Yeah, then pro like then they tell her that you like like it. It's not like you just meet today in the uh -huh. way and you just say, hey, can uh -huh. I have your WeChat? That's uh -huh. crazy. You have to know each other from some club. But like how the experience with like the girls in Phuket, like further down south, I'm not gonna lie to you, uh -huh. Southern Thai girls are it. <laughs> I say that because he's a Southern Thai girl. Southern so, Thai, yeah. So you are, if you go to Phuket, you might just look up. Bangkok, man, I really don't know. But I think with Manita's help, we can swing, we can swing you one tonight. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh, I'm almost forgetting your name. You say what? What's your name? Manita. 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 Yes. Okay, Manita. So, we got a deal today? Alright. Deal? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. This is deal? crazy. What's, what's the deal? What's the deal? I'll find Thai girl for him. Yeah. Okay. Let me interview you. How did you guys meet? This is really very interesting. I think my, my, my people would want to hear that. Let's start okay. from there. Yeah, you start. You start the story. Yes. How did you meet? Uh, he should have pop up on YouTube when I was in France. Oh. And and he was like, "This guy is handsome. Oh. This is my type." <laughs> I really love her. Yeah, he's content. Oh, okay. So you was a fan, yeah. and now you become a fan. From fan to fan. <laughs> oh man, you you're good man. man. You're, you're good man. man. So yeah, I mean. When that happened, I honestly didn't think my reach was that big to where my videos reached all the way out in France. So yeah, yeah. when she followed me on Instagram, I was like, oh, snap. Is she in Thailand? I checked it out. You know, I scoped the IG page for a little ah, bit. Ah, you're stalking her. Yeah, I was like, okay, uh, cool. She played guitar. I was like, oh, wow, you play guitar really well. <laughs> but then after that, she just told me like, oh, well, I really like your content. I like the way you edit. She, she broke it down like what she liked. It wasn't just like, oh, wow, I want to like hit on you or nothing like that. And like she was doing great work in France, so we stayed in contact up until she got back. That was interesting. Yeah. So you think if I just keep on doing my YouTube, somebody's gonna hit on me? Yeah. But give me a girl, and I'll stay forever. <laughs> yeah. Give me a girl, I'm still yeah, forever. You, man. So if so, if you find a girl, you gonna be here or you gonna take her with you? Which one are you gonna do? I will. Uh, we can finish all about Thailand first. <laughs> Oh, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. I can get you first. Let's go. I can you, you want it? You want it? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Let's go. You swimming where? I'm going to come there. Okay. <laughs> it's Mr. cold. It's cold, too. What is this? Olympics. Are you marked? Yes. Get set. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Look at the fucking unprofessional jumping. <laughs> uh, in your marks, set, go. <laughs> yeah, that was not bad. That was not bad. It's so easy, isn't it? You know, if you were scared, you can walk here. I think here is more even easier. <laughs> She's scared. You guys can, uh, who swim more faster? You have been living in Thailand your whole life. Bro, that doesn't Thailand. mean I've swam since I've been in Thailand. <laughs> but, and she can swim, right? Huh? She, she can swim, right? I, this is my first time seeing her in the water, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Damn, real? Yeah, like we don't no swim. No way, man. Like when I come to Bangkok, there's no place to really swim, bro. Unless you want to swim I in that I saw river, actually man. there's a place they call, like they've been costing like, what, 800 by just swimming? That's crazy. One ah, hour? Exactly. No, bro, that's not worth it. I seen a basketball court where we stay at our hostel. They're charging 800 by to, for a one half court to play there. Maybe no. for about 30 minutes. No, I don't like that. How you feeling, man? 
I'm feeling good, bro. You just met my day today, man. I made your day? Yeah, yeah you made my day too, man. man. It's really good, bro. It's, so nice to meet you. it's really interesting today. Today is like, I think, the most happiest day I have ever had. For real? Yeah, bro. Oh, like, man. You're just pulling out. Like, oh, That's dear. love, bro. For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Contestant number one. Contestant Flash. number one, are you ready? Manita, are you going to get up there to swim too? <laughs> Alright, she's gonna go second. Okay. You got first. Go. You, you, are the, you are the rep. Okay. How far? Where is your distance? Are you going down and back? Where, where are they? The end. Manita, where is she going? The end, right? Okay. okay. The end and back. And back. <laughs> Can you do it? Uh, do you want to run? She just wants going back. Okay. Oh. Alright. Are you marked? Get set. Get set. <laughs> hey, I'm cheating. Yeah, I'm really bro, what the hell? All right, my nigga, you gotta say it. You gotta say it this time. Yeah. You say it. Kun, kun. You said, are you right? Get set, go. Oh, you said. Let's go. Are you right? Get set. Go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh, snap. Trainos is in the lead right now. It's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. Oh, man. Who's gonna win? Guys, I think we got Trainos. <laughs> oh, snap. I almost fell in the pool. <laughs> Who got it? Who got the W? Yeah, I think Trainos did. I can't believe I can't believe he just outdid my girl like that, man. We gonna have some problems, dog. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> hey, great job, bro. Teach me something. Do your thing, bro. All the little, <laughs> little baby kicks, y'all. That's what he's teaching me. <laughs> this one is more for Rachel. Woo! Whoa. I'm not gonna lie, man. This pool actually feels like so good right now. I'm happy I ended up jumping in. <laughs> man, oh, jump, jump! Don't jump with my pro GoPro. <laughs> no, nah, I ain't gonna do Just that. Just have my GoPro, please. <laughs> She's tired, guys. No. Oh my gosh. Oh, poor yeah, baby. I'm back. What? <laughs> <laughs> Did you swallow? Yeah. Oh man. Like all that in a bag of chips. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! Amazing suit, y'all. Let me see how I look like. What have you learned? What has 2023 taught you? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. I love that. 2023 taught me that you have to be brave. Bravery is uh, worth it, I think. When you have something you want to do, just go and do it. Do you know I dropped out of school? Yeah, Honestly, know. like I went for my master's. And uh, I just went like master's three months. I was being paid like to learn actually. I was being paid to school my school fees was paid for. My hostel was paid for and they would pay me every month. But I was like, no, this is not the kind of a life I want. What I was afraid of is not really scary. Everything is going well right now. So I've learned that you sometimes you just have to be brave. Uh, the distance between you and your success maybe is just that one step. That you're scared of doing. That leap of faith. I was just saying that. You gotta take that leap of faith. And then for you, yeah. I have a lesson that I learned for you as a YouTuber. Oh wow. That's to say, the distance between a millionaire and a content creator is just one video. You think so? Yes. You just need one video and the world is gonna know about you. Open a lot of doors, more friends. See? We are together here. Yeah. yeah, and that's because, because of, of YouTube. YouTube. He's so here because of YouTube. A step away, just a video away from meeting people you would dream to meet. So when you're content creator, keep creating videos knowing that the distance between you and the millionaire is just one. There will be just this one video that maybe every company is going to look for you. Saying, bro, can we, can you be our ah, like brand ambassador? Just one video, first. For you. And, that's, and you would say that that's been experience for you as well? That was it. For what, me. what, I want to know what video was that for you? That like, it took you to like a whole different like strategy. So there's this video I had when I was like a Chinese girl uh, helped a black man and then they become a couple. I said the Chinese girl helped me and then we became a couple. 
that video just went like boom on my channel. People were calling me from back home like we are seeing you, even I'm being played on the, on my national TV, like they are taking my videos to play them. Everybody is just reaching out to me like bro, you are training, bro, you are training. In China, I'm training everywhere just because of one. And that's how I, I was, uh, bro, I just wake up one day, two weeks, two weeks from the day. I'm looking at my YouTube studio. I have like 5k US dollars. That was a crazy amount for me. 5k from YouTube. I never expect that somebody can make such an amount from YouTube. Bro, I was like, wow, I gotta get rich here. But well, let's not talk about money. The people I've met because of YouTube. The deals I've made because of YouTube. Some accomplishments, especially the people that I've met. I meet you guys. Yeah, it's so amazing just because of YouTube. So I, I value that. So that's what I'm saying. You're a distance away from being a millionaire. And, honestly, and that, that yeah. depends what you call a millionaire. For me, it's not the money that you have, mm -hmm. but it's about the experience that I'm having mm -hmm. on my way to be wherever I want to be. The experience that you can go to a certain city. Oh, are you free? Let's meet one day. That's a lot more than a million, bro. And me. honestly, you, you've done that, bro. Like, for you to like respond that. Because you know, like, if you think about it, bro, you're on a whole different level than I am. And I'm not just like saying that. You got 100k subscribers so like many people who have like 100k subscribers and you see a channel that has like 8k you like bro what I, what I look like doing a collab with you 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 need to pay me like some people like on his level be like yo let me charge you for a collab but you didn't do that you like bro come on you you in thailand you come to bangkok let me know when you here let's do some content together and that just shows like the type of heart you have and it's not about the money for you it's not about the views even because like you're not even recording the whole time yeah but it's like because you know it's like people as long as you're putting out quality videos um, and you're doing it because for the right reasons, there's nothing that's going to be able to stop you. No algorithm, yes. no sabotaging, you know, yeah. no nothing, bro. You're, you're already got your foot in the door, and that's what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm taking this as a learning opportunity because I, I can feel it. As I was like making the point, I can kind of feel that the ideas are there. I'm meeting new people. I'm learning from you. Like I take time on it. When I watch your videos, I'm always like studying. I was, yeah, I'm enjoying it too, but I'm like, okay, how can I learn from it? So that's what I've been doing, taking that time to like build my content creation. Because this is skill. It's not what you do. Like people think, all right, all you do is pick up a camera yeah, and then you got a hundred, like a million views. Like it's not that easy. You can be so much stress, guys. Yeah. I've been going through a bad stress when I came to Thailand because I was trying to figure out why what corner am I going to make? Then I was like, no, let me not stress. Let me just be myself and just show what I want to show. That's how it is. So now it's your turn. What did you learn in 2023? What was the greatest lesson? Oh, you missed it, bro. So wait, you tell you tell him yours first. Yes, let's hear from Anita. What's okay. the greatest yeah. lesson? What you learned in 2023? Be patient for everything. Oh, nice. And nice one. Appreciate what we have. Wow. Be patient. <laughs> Content. Yeah. That's so great. I love that. I love that great lesson. And then honestly, for me, it's taking those leaps of faith. It's kind of has similarities with bravery, but I always I think that the best you will always come after you take like the the highest leap highest. that you're supposed to take, yes. the most riskiest leap. Like they always say, like the greatest feeling um, or happiness comes on the other side of fear. That's I was yeah I was afraid to come to Thailand, bro. I, I'm not being I'm being for real. Like this is like it was crazy to come here. I seen it like you hear all the great things about Thailand, it's paradise. We have such a great time. The amazing, luxurious places, nice rooftops, amazing beaches. But I'm not necessarily coming here for that. I'm coming here to be in the rural like area, you know, yes. and teach kids. So like there's many other like aspects to me being here than like an average like tourist that's coming over here like i gotta stand in front of a class and teach and tie in english that's like daunting yeah, that's, for me. like yeah you think like people watching my videos is like scary like putting myself out there no these kids that i'm teaching like that's freaking scary they're yeah. like these are some of the most like honest yes. and brutal like people they just straight bro they will tell you that like, they will keep it so <laughs> real with you and it's crazy that like, i'm able to understand it as well but Thankfully, I've had like an amazing experience teaching, and somewhat uh, like one of the best experiences that a volunteer could have, bro. The only thing that I was afraid of was like, okay, now you got to come over here and do what you're supposed to do, which is teach, teach. add value, and bring value to these schools. So, but all of that wasn't even in my 
thought process, you know, before coming to like Thailand. I was like, let me go alone to get alone. Let me just do something. Let me go to graduate school. That's what I was going to do. Same thing as you. And something told me, nah, this is not the time. I, you got to take a leap. If I wasn't in Thailand, I wouldn't have met her. This great song. And I wouldn't have met this. I would have been here too. This uh, wonderful, beautiful black brother right here. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate guy. Chocolate guys. Sex with chocolate. <laughs> And all they could talk about is like, oh, that movie is interesting. Yeah. This movie interesting. Because they haven't accomplished anything in their life. They haven't done something grave in their life. So all they can talk about is other people. They yeah. can't talk about themselves. Yeah. So this is good, bro. You have a story to tell. Yeah. You are brave enough to be out there trying new stuff. So congratulations. And I want to say to everybody, Happy New Year! <laughs> and all of that. And come back out. Eat dinner and all of that. So, but... There, there's definitely moves. We can hit that, that festival before we go out. Probably hit up Cal Sun or something like that. <laughs> yeah, have you been to Cal Sun? Uh, oh, you haven't been to Cal Sun. <laughs> oh, we got to take this guy to Cal Sun, guys. The end of this portion of this video. I'm going to check y'all out. And 